playing basketball, you're ready to shoot, and you can talk about it. Did you know that? That's right. Hey. That's right. Always have a relationship with God. Just talk to him. When you don't understand something, go do it, take that test. Talk to God. Amen. Ask him to help. And if you don't have an understanding about something, ask him. You can ask God anything. And the most important thing about it, he ain't going to tell him about it. Right. Right. Okay, Amen. what you tell him or what you Amen. ask him, he's going to keep it confidential to himself. You ain't got to worry about hearing it on uh, CNN on Twitter or Facebook or, or anything like that. Okay? Do anyone have a Bible verse? The Lord is my light and my salvation, who shall I fear? Amen. I'm your mother and father. The Lord is my shepherd. For all have seen it come short the glory of God. Thank you so much. And remember the two R's. Respect and relationship. Thank you. Father, 
promise of God that you would supply. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 God, you promise that you would never leave us, God. Yeah. No, but you forsake yeah. us. Yeah. Father God, we know that you are in this place right now. Yes. Yes. Father, as we stand, oh God, we acknowledge Lord. Yeah. We ask you, God, to come, God, right now. Red Red Lord. Lord. In the midst of the people, God. Oh, yeah. Meet our needs, oh God. For oh, Lord, there may be some, God. And they be confused. Yes, Lord. Lord, they don't know which way to turn. Yes. Lord, there are some of God that might be troubling mine. Yes. God, there are hearts right now. Yes. Yes. But God, we realize, God, that you are the living. Yes. Yes. You are the supply. Yes. God, of all God, we need. Yes. And Father, we ask you, God, now, to move God by your spirit. Oh, yes. God, move by your power. Yes. Yes. Father, we ask you, God, even on this morning, God. Yes. Lord, 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 that you said that you would send your word. Yes. God, that you would send your word. Your word will not return back to you. Yes. Yes.
Lord, and remove everything from us while we are here to call upon the Paul, and he asked the Lord to move the Lord. Suffer to be so, Paul, my grace is sufficient. Keep you, but I tell you what prayer will do, prayer will change the verdict. Yes, amen. Amen. If you don't believe me, you read the chapter. Oh, I was here this center was our old man by the name of Hezekiah. And told me he don't die, he might live. But he prayed. And God told the same preacher, prophet, go back and tell him I need to pray. I see the tears. When I have 15 years of prayer, will change. Amen. 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 We shall continue now to worship and our giving and our prayer and come. Amen. I know the preacher about ready to preach tonight. Uh, amen. amen. Guess what? We cast our service at Mel today at 4 o'clock. Uh, we don't hang with him till he go back to Little City. Amen. Take him and feed him. Amen. I first thought Pastor had asked the brother, said, Come on, Pastor. And he said, You can't preach hungry. And then she turned back and started laughing and she said, someone can't preach to a Bless his heart. So we, we're going to feed him, man. Amen. He had another obligation if you want to hear him again at St. Paul in Tarboro at 4 o'clock. That pastor was with us twice this week, two nights in the revival. Let us get our tithes now and our offering that we might Lift them up to the Lord. Amen. We said to our brethren, we know our obligation today. And if you don't do it, whistle to somebody, they'll tell you that we might do what we're supposed to do. Amen. On this. Father, we come now to give back to you that which you require to us. We pray your blessing upon the giver. Those that desire don't have to give, bless it now that it might be you for the person which you are you even hate to sit down to give and to receive. You so love the word you gave your son, son gave his life. And those that will leave with him shall not take for have eternal life. You said bring all your ties and all to the storehouse that it might be be in my house and prove me now. See what I'm not on the ones of hell and pour you out blessing that there should not be room enough to receive and pray. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen.
name of Jesus. Amen. 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 One thing I love about the Lord, you don't have to be saved to praise Him. All of us over here for praise, don't we? Don't get it off. Amen. I need to write in Psalm 150, that sixth verse said, What? Let everything do what? Praise You're breathing, you ought to praise Him. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. What time is it? Happen, happen not to introduce those. I think most of us know him. If not, you know him after he had lived here today. A lot of you haven't had the privilege to go to the State Baptist Convention. Me and Mill Brown, we go every year, and we met this man a long, long time ago. And I'll tell you a little more about him, but let me say this real quick. <laughs> Amen. And he can get paid by me. Well, I'm going to tell you who it is. At the end yesterday, you know how late the night to the women did. The lips still on. Uh oh. What the hell's from running out? <laughs> when we came out, the lady had hooked the knee because they had on pretty light color suit and you know what I'm why he gonna kill you when you get home? <laughs> he, he said, what? This thing on your coat. The preacher's wife said, I didn't put it up there for mine like that color. <laughs> he said, if Jim gonna go home and tell that thing, I'm gonna tell my wife. <laughs> they been kicking me so bad. Hey man, I called a wife and I said, don't be the best bro, he can go there for that. <laughs> so he walked out there and called me while I was going, he said, I'm going to tell him to put on a dog suit. And he said, I got on a dog suit. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we thank the Lord take all for us out of life and it won't be able to live for us. Now I'm about to present the son and do the other. Hey man, we are so happy and so thankful to have this, this great man of God. And Bill Brown had doctored him, amen. And some people think he's a busy man. Some people can't get over to him, but amen. They say, all you got to do is call them children. It's how you deal with people. Amen. Is that right? <laughs> and his, his deacon, amen, told me when I first met the Wigan uh, how he talked about me, and amen, and inspired me such, and he said, uh, when he comes to St. Matthew, if I'm not buried nobody that day, I'm coming with him. <laughs> and so he is here. So I thank Lord for that. Amen. He's a busy man, busy man, full time pastor. And I said he must have been on vacation. Amen. To let him off today. <coughs> he is serving at the first vice president of General Baptist State Convention in Co op in Raleigh, North Carolina. Amen. A preaching man, a teaching man, a friend of man, more than I can name. One who very close to me. Full-time pastor, pastor of the St. Stephen Missionary Baptist Church in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Another thing that he involved in, I need not to mention. Amen. But we want to come out of our tents. And we don't have side of the way him out. And Lord knows, they told me that I could preach a little bit. That's what they told me yesterday. Yes, sir. Uh, you got a preacher in the house today. Amen. Very good. Amen. We want to hear from him for uh, his grace and his ability. Amen. And after the course, there's some selection in their choosing. The late boys will hear me that I'll guest today, all the way from the big city of Little City, the Dr. Reverend Richard Lee. I didn't know what the Hell yeah, would, but I know now. <laughs> Richard Lee Bank. Give him him for his grace and his ability. Reverend Banks, Dr. Banks, preach like God give it to you. You have the people, the people have you. Amen. Amen.
turn um, to my colleagues in ministry who share who appear in the pew, both in the office of St. Matthew Church and to all of our visiting offices. I greet to you, my sisters and brothers in the Lord Christ. Uh -huh. well, what a joy it is to be with you, and let me thank you, Pastor, for the invitation extended to come and be a part of this great Wednesday celebration. It has been a wonderful worship experience. Uh, there's certainly a sweet spirit uh, in this place, and, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. Uh -huh. I want to thank this male choir for this marvelous yeah. music. Yeah. 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 These brothers are singing out of the depths of their heart, yeah. and for that I am extremely grateful. I uh, thank you for me. Uh, for driving down and yeah. uh, coming to check on and make sure that everything is okay. Yeah. And, Amen. And, uh, uh, every pastor uh, can appreciate a deacon. Uh, okay. Mike Deacon Whitney. Right. Uh, he looks out for me, makes sure everything is, is decent in order. And they're at the church, and I'm grateful for that. Uh -huh. uh, I'm grateful for that. Uh, uh, when he came to Elizabeth City, uh, He's just like everything else. I, I did all I could do to get him to come join our church. I mean, I worked on it. I thought I was going to lose him to another church. He was just playing with me. He said he was going to come in all the time. And so I'm grateful to have him back. I, I, I'm no stranger to the majority of you. Um, many of you have seen me, especially uh, in the middle ground. Uh -huh. And so it is certainly good uh, to be back and to be a part of this great celebration. Yeah. Uh, many of you know my style, uh, that it doesn't take me long. Yeah, right. I'm going to hit it and hit it and hit it. Yeah. Right. If you don't get me going up, it's going to be too slick. I'm going to sit down. Yeah. Work with me 15, 20 minutes, and all you're going to get out of me is that enough. Is that enough? Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> but I'm going to do that. I want to thank you again, that's Cherry. Uh, mother and Cherry, friend Cherry, uh, dad and Cherry, uh, all of the above for your tremendous friendship. I I'm pretty good at words, but uh, I don't have words to express how appreciative I am for what you mean to me and my ministry. Yeah. You, 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 you're just a total package. Uh -huh. and, and, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that our path have crossed and that uh, we have become the best of friends. And, uh, and, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm in here, this is my 35th year uh, at the church where I serve. And um, uh, in those 35 five years, I've never taken off two consecutive Sundays. And I'm off this Sunday, and the next Sunday I'm in Kansas City. I'm up for Reverend Walt Chair. Uh, I'm going to make a sacrifice. Amen. And uh, the other thing that I wanted him to know that many times when he calls me to a common preacher in association, uh, I'm somewhere else, but I push everything aside well. so that I can come yeah. and be with my friend and my colleague because I learned so much. Uh, he, he pours into me, and for that, uh, I am extremely grateful. Uh, people don't have to be nice. And when people are nice, they don't have to be nice to you. Amen. And so he's been nice to me, and I'm grateful for that. Amen. And again, I want to say to the St. Matthew family and all the visiting churches, thank you so much for having me here this morning. And to the men, thank you so much for allowing me to come and be a part of your men's day celebration. Um, I may not do the best I can, but I'm gonna do all I can. All right. that's, all, that's all I can do. Amen. I'm gonna sit down. Amen. I wanna to talk today from the subject, a dream of living water. A drink of living water. I want to make a promise to the cameraman that I'll stand 
right, right in one spot. I won't <laughs> grab this mic and be all over the place, and I don't want to work you over time. So no problem. I'll, I'll no problem. Stand in one spot. I'll, I'll follow I'll you. Act, I'll try to <laughs> dignify this. <laughs> you know, I got a little Pentecostal in there. I'm going to act like I got some sense today. So, so you, you, if you got it set right there, I think you're going to be good. I'm going to follow you. You'll do follow what you want to do. Oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> Drink <laughs> of living water. Yes, sir. St. John, chapter number 4, yes, sir. and verse number 10. The gospel, as recorded by St. John, chapter number 4, and verse number 10. It's the scripture text that I have placed to support the subject for this day. Mm. John 4, mm -hmm. verse 10. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink. Thou would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Again, a drink of living water. Yes, yes. Amen. What I hope to do today with this text with this message, I hope to show you that regardless of how dark and how dismal a person's life has been, regardless of how holy and how unsatisfactory their lives may have been to God. I know. That a drink of living water yes, sir. can turn it around. Yeah. Yeah. I want to show you today from this text that oftentimes people have lived such lives that folk will make them think there is no hope for their future. Yeah. 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 Some will get a little religion and look down on other folk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I come, St. Matthew, to tell you that a drink mm. of the living water yeah, yeah, yeah. can fix it every time. Yeah. 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 And then finally, there's a final point that if you're all still working with me at the end, I'm going to show you that one thing you can be assured of, that when you've taken a drink of this living water, that you can't keep it to you safe. You just gotta run everywhere and tell somebody that I've had a good drink of living water. Are you interested in what I have to say? Yes, sir. The gospel of John now, Jesus is at the height of his ministry. He's changed water into wine. Mm. Yeah. He has converted Nicodemus. Yes, sir. He's been healing Peter's mother-in-law. Yeah. Mm. And so by now, his fame and his fortune and his popularity has spread it throughout the land. Yeah. Uh, just like in 2016, in biblical history, when folks become popular, everybody is not happy. No, right, no. Everybody is not satisfied. Mm -hmm. People are subject to complain and criticize you because God has uniquely blessed you. Now right, yeah. yes, they're going to tell you today that if they try to find fault in Jesus, 
Yeah. Come on, man. You can be assured yes, that they're sir. gonna try. Yes, sir. 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 If you ever get a drink mm. of this living water, right. your life will never be the same Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. And so when you come to chapter four, it opens by a crowd that was against Jesus called the Pharisees. Uh -huh. yeah. They were trying to find some way to stop and to block the progress of the master. Yes, right. So what they did, they came up with this conspiracy. Uh -huh. And they said that Jesus was baptizing more disciples uh -huh. than John. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The problem was that Jesus made disciples. Uh -huh. John baptized uh -huh. disciples. Uh -huh. And so what they were trying to do is cause problems and, and competition between John the Baptist yeah. and Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Yeah. But what they didn't realize that the Lord knew their thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. He knew what they were up to. Yeah. Yeah. So John says that Jesus didn't try to find out who the guilty parties were. Uh -huh. He didn't try to find out who was the fault. Yeah. The text said that. He said, well, if they can't appreciate me in Judea, yes, sir. he I'm said, I'm going to head back to Galilee. Yeah. But the text says that before arriving in Galilee, uh -huh. that he had a need to go through <laughs> Samaria. Yes, Am I in the book? Is that the Lord has a way of showing up where he's needed most. Yes, yes. You can hear me say that he was going to Galilee, yes. right? but he had a need to go yes. through. Yes. Yes. I'm going to try that one more time. Yes. His, his destination was Galilee. Yes. Samaria, there was a little village, a little town, a little hamlet called Sychar. Uh -huh. There in this little village, there was a 10 foot well yes, that was sir. called yes, Jacob. Jacob. It was known for producing cool and yes, refreshing sir. water. Yes. Now, now, the text shows us that when Jesus went from point A to point B, uh -huh. that he did not drive a Cadillac. That's right. He did not drive a Lexus. He did not drive a Mercedes B. He did not drive a Chevrolet. He did not drive a Ford. He did not drive a Dodge. He had to walk from point A to point B. That being the case, by this time, he is a little tired and weary yeah. from his journey. Yeah. So the text says that Jesus now sits on the way. Yes, sir. Yeah. But he sends his disciples into town to buy me. Yeah. Uh -huh. But then John says, a woman. Yeah, that's right. He did not give us her name. Uh -uh. All right. He did not tell us what church she was affiliated with. Uh -huh. Did not tell us uh, any type of sorority or, or link that she was affiliated with. That's right. John just said a woman uh -huh. has an empty bucket in her hand. That's right. That's right. She's headed to the well to get her a bucket of water uh -huh. and then she's going back home. Uh -huh. The problem was it was noontime. Yes, sir. And it was not the ordinary time that a woman would be coming yeah. to the well on a boat. Well, the cow she would get robbed or, or mugged. And so it was just unusual. The women would go early morning or late in the evening. Yeah. Where they could there, they could sort of talk and, and communicate and share as they came to get water. Yeah. But John says, this one, 
comes to the way. Uh -huh. Expecting to be there all along. Yeah. Get her a bucket of water uh -huh. and then go back home. Yeah. But when she arrives oh, in the way, uh -huh. there is to her a strange yes, sir. city Come on, down on the way. Yeah. Now in order for her to get her bucket filled, yeah. she has to deal with that person